What's up guys, this is me Morgie here and today welcome back to another video and yeah another grind. Basically yesterday QPR played against Arsenal behind the closed doors and we lost 4-3 sadly but Wolverton was saying like we played really really well but also I've been hearing news that Tom Carroll played with us in an uh, Arsenal match apparently this is what I heard on this website called West London Sport which I've got right here it says Carol and Dickey play for QPR in a friendly play for QPR in a friendly against Arsenal this is here Tom Carroll and new signing Rob Dickey featured for QPR in behind closed doors friendly against Arsenal on Tuesday afternoon Carol apparently well he well not apparently a Carol who spent 2013 and 14 season on loan with QPR from Tottenham is without a club after being released by Swansea City. Does this mean we are gonna be getting Tom Carroll again and now that as that he's a free agent? Me personally I don't know why we're gonna be getting him because he is not good enough for the team in my opinion. I mean look who we have in our team. We got Cameron, we got Amos, we got Chair, we got Dominic Ball, we've got probably a couple more people in midfield. Maybe he should put if we do have him, just for like a backup, backup sort of thing. Me personally, I don't know why we're going to be, if we will get Tom Carroll with a free agent. It doesn't really make any sense why we get him, as we've got enough midfield anyway, in my opinion. Let me know what you guys think down below. Let me know if you guys want to... Well, let me guys know if you guys think Carroll will fit in well with this team. Maybe he'll play much better under Mark Warburton. We play much more better football, in my opinion, with Warburton. So maybe Tom Carroll will fit in well with the squad. I'm not too sure. But nevertheless, Arsenal won the game in the end, 4-3. QPR's goals, who scored, was Brighter Samuel. Todd Kane, surprisingly. And another surprisingly, it was... Osmar Kakai who scored, which was very surprising. <laughs> um, so yeah, so two defenders scored, which is a good sign because now we've got other people scoring, and that's what we really need. We needed we needed other people to score. Anyway, moving on. Apparently, there's been very good. There's been speculations as well on Twitter that we'll be signing a striker very very soon on loan. A Premier League striker. A lot of people are saying my be this Victor guy from Brighton. I'm not too sure how you pronounce his second name. But it's this Victor guy who I have no clue who he is, but we need experience. We don't want we don't want um some nutter who's like a freak not known and hasn't even started against Brighton. But then again, we never know he could actually be really, really good and we could you know be a potentially good player. But also a lot of people are saying Charlie Austin is coming home. I don't know if it'll be true. I don't think Charlie Austin will come home to QPR. But I don't think Charlie Austin will be starting as much games this season because apparently West Brom was signing quite a few strikers and I don't think Austin will fit in well with the team. So I'm hoping, fingers crossed, that Charlie Austin will indeed come home. If he doesn't, I'll be very disappointed in that. But if not, it'll be great. Well, good luck for him in West Brom, if not. But if it is, I can't wait. If he, the season's going to be good, I reckon we're bagging loads of gold with Dykes and Austin up top. I reckon that'll be a good strike force up top. But yeah, that's what I wanted to say for this video. It's a quick video. Thank you for the new people that subscribe. We've got to 384 subscribers. We are so close for hitting that 400 subscribers. That's my aim for this month, 400 subscribers. And if possible, maybe we can reach to 1,000 subscribers. 1,000 subscribers is my main goal to reach for this channel. But 400 subscribers is a good mark for me to reach to for this month. This month, 400 subscribers. So yeah, thank you guys for so much good support recently. I know I can't go to games, I can't vlog games, my vlogging of people I get way more views obviously. But 
because of this whole like COVID-19 stuff, we're just going to be talking to the camera instead, and we can't be going to the game. I'll be doing a live stream on Saturday with the game. It starts at 12.30, so early kick off a live stream. So yeah, be sure to hit that subscribe button for the QPR Plymouth game. Hopefully we'll beat Plymouth. I reckon we should be able to beat them, but you never know with QPR. But, anyway, yeah, make sure you leave a like rating. Let's try and hit five likes in this video. Let me know down below about Tom Carroll. Do you think he's good enough for the squad? Do you think he should play? He's will be a free agent, but do you think he should play or or not? Yeah, just leave a thoughts down below. And yeah, make sure you hit the subscribe button and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.